All right, everybody, welcome aboard. This is gonna be... This is episode three of our series of Day in the Caribbean. Day flying in the Caribbean. And uh, today, we're gonna do a quick flight from St. Bart's to Anguilla. It's about a 25 miles flight, so it's about 10 minutes on this plane. Pushers coming up. And as you've heard in my past two videos, flaps must be at 15 in order to do the pusher test. The way we do is we bring the throttle up to 5 psi on the torque and click the pusher test button in the overhead panel. There we go, push your test complete. If you haven't already, please smash that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see more content that I'll be publishing soon. And uh, if you guys are ready, I'm ready, uh, let's go ahead and taxi. Hard to break stop. NC Barge Good Speed 88 is ready to taxi uh, VFR. Three souls aboard and two hours starting fuel. Mountain 128, roger, bye. This is Kiko, Bravo, position, please. We are checking the B-Bar for sure, we got the island across it. Roger, roger, thank you. Fin 241, no traffic reported on final report, leaving frequency, traffic, full fuel, Sugarloaf. November 88, X-Ray Yankee, runway news 10, zero, wind zero 05, zero degrees, one five knots, get it, one zero one five. report Alpha ready. Call the Alpha ready, X-Ray Yankee. Tax light is on. Let's get away from this parking position. Alright, we're clear. 215 or 210? 215. Roger. Runway news 10, wind 050 degrees, 15 knots, carry 1015. I'll call you back. Right, Edward, Cookie, 107. Key 107, left and pass your message. With you, 401, General Edition, Cookie. Key 107, Roger, runway news 10, wind 05, 0 degrees, 15 knots, carry 1015, and I'll call you back. Roger, Cookie, 107, Edward, Cookie, 107. Alright, so we're going to bring for departure out of St. Bars. If anything happens on the runway before 60 knots, and before Charlie, we're going to board. We're going to use full brakes and uh, reverse. Uh, if we're airborne, and that's because, uh, that right is because our prop is below 950. Um, if we're airborne and we lose an engine airborne, we're going to ditch below 1200. Left sorting gear up will be the option for ditching. Uh, once we're above 1200, we're going to turn back around and land on runway 28 above. Um, and then uh, after we uh, cross over to St. Martin, we have several options like Princess Juliana Airport or Grand Cass, which is on the northeast side of uh, St. Martin. It's very important to have a briefing for every single flight that you're doing, uh, regardless whether it's a commercial flight or a private flight like today. If you're flying by yourself on a small aircraft, whether it be a Skyhawk, or a big plane like a King Air or a Pilatus, um, it's always good to have uh, a plan for yourself, even though you're the only one on the cockpit. If you are with, uh, if you have a crew member with you, so you're flying as a crew, as a team, then make sure that your uh, other crew member knows exactly what you're going to do, and that they know exactly what to, uh, what they're expected to do in case things go south. Uh, especially on critical stages of flight, like departure or landing, if something goes south, uh, you're not going to have a lot of time to deal with the emergency, so uh, you'd better have the other crew know what to do, and that they know what you're going to do, what your plan is going to be. That's kind of like the only way that you're going to have a safe outcome of any situation, uh, most likely. We're holding short here, there's an Islander on the hold short mark, there's an Aztec on the other side of the airport, and uh, there's a traffic on final. There's a 20 Yankee after the landing traffic, no traffic reporting on final. 
copy X ray Yankee. I'll end up at the part uh, one zero after the traffic clears X ray Yankee. Roger. Copy one zero seven, and we'll end up behind Pilatus. Okay, there's a helicopter behind you. Okay. Alright, aircraft is on the ground. We're gonna line up. Try to use as much runway as we can. We have five plates today on the prop, so our traffic is actually clear. Fox squad, Golf, Fox squad, Lima, Lima. Traffic, uh, PC-12 lining up. Behind and the front final behind lineups. The, behind the traffic on the Flaps, right. 50 traffic lights as required, as protection as required. Condition alert for flying out all exceeded. And uh, cause is appropriate. Are you guys ready? All right, heading is 102, checks for 10, let's go. Deck of power set is in the green, the cause is clear. And next we're get the roll. One is from the left, so we're correcting. 64 Charlie cross checked, 80 knots, and up we go. We're past the runway, so we start our left turn now. Uh, info, this is good speed one zero five. Looking uh, for There's four hundred feet flop zero. Alpha, speed checks above hundred knots. Three zero seven with the Lima, which is our registration, will be airborne. I don't have any phone call from Julian Asha, so I call you back for a uh, good speed one zero five. Yeah, very good. The only uh, they just want you to let them know that three zero with the Lima that'll be airborne because of our ADSB. Four call Kyoto the sequence. Speed 105, I'll call you back. Roger. Okay, there's a thousand feet. No traffic reported on final. I'll leave the sub okay, close. Okay, open. I'll bring the crisp uh, clamp power in. 369 on the torque. Martin 130, Roger. There's 369, and we are on the corridor to Anguilla. Speed 105, we're on the news 10, wind 040, degrees on 5 now, security 1015, and report on final. And say part six three Yankee, talk to you later. Three Yankee, Roger, bye. Bye bye. All right, we're gonna talk with uh, Grant Kaz Info. Grant Kaz Info, good afternoon, uh, November X three Yankee. X three Yankee, Grant Kaz, go ahead. I'll say bars to uh, Lloyd on the corridor. Uh, currently, uh, one thousand five hundred. X-ray Yankee, copy, report 10 tomorrow leaving. Call you 10 tomorrow leaving, X-ray Yankee. I'll take the flight director up. I'm just going to hand fly all the way there. So yeah, the corridor is basically uh, kind of like a two-way highway between St. Bart's and Aguila. Uh, and we need to keep, as in the U.S., the right side of the highway at all times. It's a pretty short trip. Uh, we're estimating Anguilla in the next four minutes. And uh, Grand Cas just told us to report at Tantamar, which is an island just off the east coast of St. Martin. You can see St. Martin on the left side, Gorges Island, and Tantamar is just coming up ahead. That is Tantamar. That is St. Martin. Now we're currently passing overhead Tentamore now. And Grand Cas, good speed, uh, Christian over extra Yankee is over Tentamore. Copy, sir. So long, Cersea. All right, over to Lloyd. Lloyd Tower, good afternoon, November extra Yankee. This one continues back to us, thank you, sir. Hey sir, November 88 Extra Yankee has Tantamar inbound from St. Bart's. November 88 Extra Yankee, Roger, to report on right, right base, runway 11, one, one. wind is 080 degrees at 119, QNH is 30, that's 103. 303, call your right base, runway 11, one, one, Extra Yankee. Alright. So I'm just going to start slowing down. 
Currently doing 250 knots. That's about where we're heading. Uh, it's going to be uh, Papa Charlie 1 2. Roger. Confirm it's November 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 Clear to land, runway 11, extra Yankee. All right, we're on the pattern. 160 knots, flaps 15 selected. And speed checks for gear down, selected, lights are on. Hunter in right base. I don't have to call him because we're geared down. Three green. Got three green, flaps sturdy, speed checks. And flaps 40 before landing checklist coming up. Landing gears down three green, foot brakes tested, landing taxi lights are on, flaps are 40 selected, indicated, autopilot get amper away. And uh, kind of pressure is zero diff before that checklist complete. And we're clear to land runway 1-1. All right, turning final. requires a lot of power to keep airborne when you're uh, using flaps 40. I don't know if you've noticed. 500. Flaps, and that's 500 feet, gears down through flaps 40 out of play number away, and we're clear to land runway 1-1. The flaps on this plane are huge, so they do create a lot of drag, but they also create a lot of lift. around 7 PSI on the torque. That's a good number for final approach. Over the numbers. It's funny, this runway still says runway 10, and it's runway 11. And let's bring that power down. The runway has a little upslope, so we have to be careful, and we are on the ground. Around, idle selected, and just a little bit of use to stop the plane. No need to use brakes on this one. Eight eight extra Yankee one at time two six exit Bravo to the ramp. Bravo to the ramp extra Yankee thanks. And do you have our flight plan good speed four back to uh, set one. You firm. Thank you sir. All right runway's clear flaps are coming up. Lights are as required. ECS off. We're going to park and then I'll run the after landing and shut down checklist. There's our marshaller. Welcome to Anguilla. I hope you enjoyed this quick trip. If you liked it, please just 
click that like button and subscribe to the channel. That's gonna help me. Uh, that's gonna help me uh, get more aviation enthusiasts so they can uh, see how it is to fly in the Caribbean. Right. So after landing, condition lever scan out. All flaps are zero. Sure, legs are as required. Ash protection is as required. Radar is on standby. ECS is off. Trim is set for takeoff. Shutdown. Parking brake set. Tax lights off. Transponders VFR. Cooling and heating is off. Avionics two and one. And uh, generators two and one. Warning. Avionic bus. Condition lever. There we go. Beacon battery EPS control will lock.